So notice ISP2, the core ISP, doesn't know about the 10 network. It only knows about the 8 network, but these devices can send traffic through this router because of network address translation. So as an example, if I run a simulation and on PC2, I'll ping cisco.com packet is here if i look at that packet notice the source port number is 1026 ephemeral or random port number destination is a dns because it needs to do a dns lookup so traffic is going from the source ip address of the pc 101211 to the google dns server so if you look at the actual packet, you can see information such as the source and destination IP address. You can see the layer two MAC addresses. We can see that it's a DNS query for cisco.com. When it gets to the router, the inbound packet looks very similar to what we saw previously. Source IP address, destination IP address. But on outbound, it's going to change. So over here, notice the source IP address is the IP address of the router. So inbound, it's this IP address, but outbound, it's this IP address. So the IP address has been changed because of NAT. When it gets to the internet routers, the internet routers only see eight addresses they don't see the internal 10 network because of network address translation. So the source is customer two, this IP address, destination is Google. If we continue to play that, it will be the same information. But on return, notice the IP addresses have changed or swapped around. Source IP address is the DNS server. Destination IP address is customer two. And that's true for both ingress or inbound and egress or outbound on ISP2. Capture forward. When it gets to this router, it's very similar. Source is Google, DNS server. Destination is customer two for both ingress and egress, so in and out. But when it gets to the customer router, notice how it changes now. Inbound is Google, destination is customer two, so that's on this interface. But on this interface, in other words, on the ethernet interface, Notice the destination IP address has been changed. And that's because of the NAT translation. Traffic going to one of these addresses and port numbers is going to be translated to the PC. In this example, the destination port is 1026. Source port is 53. So this is the NAT translation that's translating the packet. Then the packet gets sent to the PC. PC then sends a new packet. In this example, notice it's an ICMP message destined to the same IP address because Cisco has resolved to the same IP address. When it gets to the router, we have a source IP address of 10, but on egress or on outbound, that's also translated. So Packet Tracer makes it really nice to see what's going on with the packets at every stage in the network. But at this point, 
I've now completed the lab. The last step is always, and I've done this already, but to ensure that I've done it right, I always make sure that I've saved the router configurations for any router that I've edited in the lab. So how did you do? Were you able to complete the lab? Did you get it working successfully? Thank <laughs> you.